Hello everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something different than usual because I decided to use custom content in this build and I rarely use custom content, like never. <laughs> I think I did like one custom content build which was like half a year ago and yeah, I don't know. Normally I just enjoy to build with the normal things we have in the game because I want my builds to be accessible for everyone and it's also easier to download them that way if you don't have to download all the custom content and also I think there are just too many things to decide from or too many things you can do with custom content so I'm always like oh my god I have so many decisions what item I should pick and everything and you know what I mean so therefore I just don't I don't know I'm, I'm not that kind of person for custom content normally but I saw this custom content pack on Twitter I think and also on Instagram and YouTube I, I saw it everywhere <laughs> and it's the organic pack by Felix Andre and Hey Harry and let me tell you it's the most beautiful custom content pack I've ever seen like it's so beautiful. The details and the texture and everything is so amazing. Like, for example, do you see that little glass thing I added on the side? There are those rectangular windows. You can place them perfectly at the roof and also the roof, like the roof pattern is also from that CC pack and the windows here and... I'm just, I'm in love with that pack. <laughs> it's so beautiful and therefore I just had to build something with it. So, yeah. Uh, I'm using only base game and cottage living in that build here so if you don't have all the packs or so if you just have cottage living and base game you can download this build it's basically like i, I wanted to build in handford and bagley because i really like this world and also i wanted to add a chicken coop or just some kind of farming elements so therefore i decided to use cottage living as well and base game and also i decided to use all of their custom content packs they did together because felix andre and hey henry they did some collaborations with that pack like yeah i think it's a collaboration so they worked together on some custom content pieces and all of them turned out so beautiful and they have like five or six collaboration packs i think i'm not quite sure now but um Everything is linked in the description box. So if you want to download this house, you will need to download the custom content because otherwise uh, I think it wouldn't look that nice because everything would be missing. <laughs> Probably, I don't know, you can still download it if you want to, but um, I would suggest you downloading the custom content from them as well. So I... I included everything in the description box you need to know there. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna include the link in the description box that's it but um, yeah I'm gonna do that and then you can download the custom content and it is just so beautiful and they also did some other packs like uh, I think it's a bathroom set and also a living room and the other one is called I think Kish kitchen <laughs> I can't pronounce those names because they did those uh, funny thing with the names where just they just I don't know twisted some let letters and everything and <laughs> I think this is pretty fun and yeah, so just, I don't know, if you're ever looking for a custom content creator, I can just highly suggest them <laughs> because those packs are just gorgeous and I, I, I love it. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, so anyways, uh, back to the build. So here I'm doing the floor plan actually and I, I decided to keep that in as well because I asked you once if you want to see that and the majority or not the majority i think like all of you or most i don't know i got some comments from people saying that they would like to see the floor plan process so i decided to include that so the thing is at first i wanted to have this house here for uh, like a couple and also a toddler because i really wanted to use items from that uh, toddler pack they made i think it's called like tiny traveler something like that i think so um yeah, because those items are just amazing from that pack. But it sadly, it, it didn't fit because the upstairs is pretty small and therefore it was just not possible, sadly. Um, so I decided to like scrap that idea and add a bigger bathroom downstairs instead. And yeah, so upstairs there's the living, not living, what am I saying? There's the bedroom. Yeah, bedroom is upstairs and downstairs there's the kitchen, a little living room and bathroom and 
yeah, just some hallways and I really like how it turned out. I think it's so beautiful and I think it's definitely really beautiful because of the custom content I used because like I don't know the custom content is just beautiful I, I can't stop <laughs> saying how beautiful it is I'm sorry about that but it's just um, yeah I really like it so yeah especially those windows ah <sighs> yeah so anyways so the shape from the house is fully finished now and I'm just adding a couple of details everywhere like this ivy which is from Cottage Living and those stones here as well. They came with that custom content piece, like piece, <laughs> no, with that con custom content pack as well. Oh my god, what's going on with my, with my language today? <laughs> um, yeah, they came with that pack as well and they are just beautiful. Usually, usually when I want to add some kind of details to the corners with some stones, I use the ones from Jungle Adventure, but they just, I don't know, I think those ones, the ones here, they are just more beautiful. They look perfect here and I love them, I don't know. Also this lamp I placed in the, in the what's that room called, like in the winter garden? Is it a winter garden? Like a sun sunroom, I think you call it a sunroom, I think, yes. The lamp I placed there, it is so gorgeous. I love it. Also, all the plans from that pack. Like, I have so... I had so many custom content plans in my game. And that was just amazing. And also those shoes. And yeah, I think the whole voiceover is gonna be like I... Like, how I am just... Uh, yeah, being obsessed with that custom content pack. And all of our custom content packs. So, yeah. Um, so... Anyways, I am just decided to add this bench here in front and also that chair because it was a little bit too empty for me and if you know me then you know that I like to clutter up everything in my builds and just add details everywhere <laughs> and that's what I did here as well, obviously. And yeah, now I'm doing the landscaping and I'm using just the space game bush like always <laughs> just to line out all of the landscaping. I think that's something I always do. like. I can't really remember a build where I did not use those kinds of bushes just to line out the whole landscaping. I don't know why am I doing this, I just think it, it's more realistic like that or it looks nicer like that actually, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and I'm also using trees and bushes and flowers and everything from the Cottage Living Debug menu because, yeah, I don't know, I can, I can tell you that a thousand times every time that I'm using those flowers I'm just like, they are just... They are so beautiful. They are just gorgeous. And the debug menu from Cottage Living, I can just repeat myself over and over again, but it's the best debug menu we got with any pack, at least in my opinion, because I am obsessed with Cottage Living and yeah. <laughs> so now I am adding a bunch of more flowers and those flowers I'm using are actually from base game and they, they, they updated the swatches from that recently because I don't know if you heard about that, but the Sims team, they... Uh, updated I think like 1200 swatches or like they add they added 1200 swatches to the game which is incredible to the base game items and yeah this flower here got in uh, like recolor as well and I am so happy about that because now landscaping is getting easier <laughs> because we have more nice plants and yeah I don't know I'm just I'm obsessed with all those uh, new things we are getting so yeah I'm adding those little grass things everywhere, which are also from the debug menu from Cottage Living, because I just think they give more detail to everything. And yeah, here on the side, you can also see a little thing for the chickens. <laughs> I'm not sure if it makes any sense the way I decorated this whole shed here on the side, but I kind of liked how it turned out. So yeah, but first I'm doing terrain paint. And after that, I think I'm going to decorate the shed here and... I'm using this stone texture, those, so this stone paint. Yeah, I think it's paint and, and I think it, I don't know, it matched perfectly here. I don't know why, but I was really happy when I used that and it just looked nicely. So yeah, now I decided to add a picnic table there as well because I found it among the items and also those plant boxes here. And also this little trunk for rabbits because it's cute and the rabbits in the game are also just adorable. So yeah, now I am decorating this shed here, I think. And yeah, I just decided to add a chicken coop inside and also some uh, hay balls just to make it look like a little shed. 
I don't know. I basically just add this thing because I wanted to use that door <laughs> that came with that pack. Like, do you see that barn door? It is just... It is so beautiful. Everything in that pack is beautiful. Ah, I'm sorry about repeating myself all the time, but it's just... I, I can't help myself. It's just amazing. Yeah. Also, this plant, I'm also overusing. The one which I just placed on the corner. Not this one, the, the other one. <laughs> and yeah, so... Now I'm adding some more shoes, because those shoes are also super adorable and cute. I just love them, yeah. So I'm decorating the little thing outside here as well, so that the chickens can go outside. And I'm actually not sure if they can like pass the gate, or if they can go out of the door. But I think they should be able to, I, I think they can. I'm not quite sure now, but but I don't know. You will probably see it for yourself if you don't know the house. Yeah. <laughs> so now I am fixing the wallpaper on the interior. And I'm not going to keep that red swatch of this wallpaper here. I'm going to switch it to the brick one, I think. Because it was not the right color for the vibe I'm going for. Because the whole house is actually not super colorful. Like, there's definitely some color. But normally I'm not going for that much color in my builds. Uh, what am I saying? No, normally I'm going for a lot of colors in my builds. Ah, oh my god, I, I messed that up. <laughs> yeah, so um, it was really nice building something which is a little bit more toned down and yeah. So those couches that I'm using are also from that pack. I think they are from the living room pack or the Jardin pack. I don't know. There's also one of the packs. It's it's for outdoor stuff, which is also super nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, fixing more wallpaper. And now I'm, I don't know. I think this area looks super cozy, even though I used a lot of brick here. Like the floor is made out of brick and then also the wall. And I don't know, but this, this fireplace here, just the details on it look so beautiful. And all the plants that I was able to place down. There were so many different plants and I had so much fun. I had so much fun with placing all of the different plants everywhere. Also those books and those magazines. I think it's so fun that you can see Bob Pancake on that. I, I love that. <laughs> I think this is super nice. Yeah, but I also gave them a TV, which is actually a base game and not from one of the CC packs. And yeah, which is quite, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I used that many base game items actually in that build. <laughs> the majority of the items are definitely from that custom content packs. And yeah, that, that's just because I really wanted to use as much as I could from those packs. Yeah. So I'm really sorry for all of the people who play on console that might want to download this build. I am very sorry about that. But yeah, it, normally I don't do custom content builds like, yeah. I don't know. I, I I already removed all of the custom content again from my game so that I won't get irritated when I'm scrolling through the menu why there are so many new items <laughs> and don't get like tempted to use them every time because I don't know. I just I want to stick to the normal game and <laughs> yeah. I think that's what I will enjoy the most and yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So, I'm decorating the kitchen now and as you can see, I'm using those counters and cabinets, which are also from that from, from those custom content packs. I don't think I have to uh, say that every time I use a, an item from that, because it's only base game and those items and cottage living as well. But I'm also not using that much from cottage living, actually. But yeah, I'm just... I don't know. I'm. I'm. I. I like the packs. <laughs> when I was building this house, I was just the whole time like, "Oh my God, this is beautiful!" And this, and this, and I'm already missing all of the plans I had, like all of the decisions, like all not decisions. How's that called? Like all of the options I had. It's just amazing. Yeah. So I'm just cluttering that up a little bit. And oh my god, also those pillows. Those pillows are just so adorable. Yeah, so I placed them down here as well. Just to make it more cozy. And I think I think they definitely look cozy. Yeah, so now I'm cluttering up the kitchen a little bit. And I'm adding those cups. And also, yeah, just a bunch of decoration. They also have so many clutter items. And... And this book, I don't know why, but I I just liked how this book looked. And also the candle here, which I placed down and everything. Yeah. Also, the phone and the keys. It is such a cute detail, which 
is just super amazing. I don't know. And I also add a dishwasher, which is something that I rarely do because I always forget that they exist, but I've added a dishwasher here. And yeah, your sims, they can be thankful to me for that because now they don't have to do their dishes anymore. Probably, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm just using this hanging plant here. I mean, it's it's a plant which is hanging down. Is there anything which can be more more amazing than that? Because I want to have that in the normal Sims game. Can they please include something like that? Just the plant which is like hanging down a little bit on the side. It is so beautiful and yeah. Also those curtains. I'm in love with those curtains. I think they were more like supposed to be for uh, like bigger windows, but I had to size them down and everything so that they looked nice. But I just wanted to use them because the other option was to use base game curtains and yeah, or the ones from Cottage Living, but the Cottage Living curtains, they are just not the vibe I wanted here. And yeah, so I just decided to size them down and yeah. Also those columns, those columns are so beautiful. Yeah, okay, but anyways, now we are, I think we should be decorating the dining area soon, the, the sunroom here. Yes, I am. And yeah, so this is the only dining area they have here inside of the house. They do have a picnic table on the outside, but yeah, here I just decided to add this uh, dining table and those chairs with the little hearts in it. Isn't that adorable? And also this plant here with those, I don't, I don't even know what, what it is, what is hanging on that plant, but it looks beautiful. It looks like, like apples maybe, but it doesn't make any sense. Like apples grow on a tree and that, that wouldn't make sense, I think. But um, it just looks beautiful. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just adding some more details. And I think then we should go on with the next room, which might be the hallway, I think. Yeah, the hallway, I guess. Yes. So just adding some more details because it's, I don't know, the, it's so easy to add details with that pack because there are so many nice clutter items. Yeah. So I also gave them a chess table on the exterior because it's very, very useful to have a chess table in your game, I think, when you're playing, just to have some skill building items. And I think it also gives the fun up. So gives the fun up. Wait, that was totally wrong grammatically. <laughs> it also like makes fun for the Sims, you know, you can... Yeah, you, you know what I'm trying to say, hopefully. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm decorating the entryway here. So I decided to add a mirror there and also um, an end table. And yeah, also those lamps that I'm using everywhere. They are also looking super nice. And I don't know, I like the style of them. I actually think I have one of those, I or I had one of those lamps, like exact those lamps in my, in my apartment. But when I moved, it somehow broke and now I just have the light bulb and not the glass anymore. And it looks a little bit sad, but <laughs> it still functions and yeah. So now I'm doing the bathroom and this bathroom is just gorgeous, I think. And that's because of all the items I could use. There were so many options and so many bathroom clutter and also a different toilet paper holder because the one we have normally in the game is just, I don't know, it, it, is, it is getting boring to use because it looks the same. And I know that there are different swatches, but yeah, I'm just, I don't, I don't know, I... I, I want to have a different toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, uh, but now I'm decorating the upstairs. And yeah, also downstairs the bathroom has a shower and also a bathtub. But upstairs the bathroom, I included a small little bathroom. Uh, I think there's only a bath, uh, a toilet and a toilet and sink. But now I'm, I might be wrong. I might have add a shower there as well, but I don't remember. But we will we will discover that together soon, <laughs> because the bathroom is the next room that I'm decorating. But first, yeah, first I'm doing the upstairs here, and I decided to add another fireplace here just to make it more cozy and also a chair and yeah. But now I'm doing the bathroom, and that means that we are at the end of the video, or almost. <laughs> so if you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. That would really help me out, and I would really much appreciate it. And if you, 
Yeah, if you if you want to see more of my builds, you can definitely follow me over on Twitch because I started streaming again because I took a little break from streaming, but I am back again and I'm streaming two times a week. It's Wednesdays and Sundays at 9 p.m. CET, which is 3 p.m. E EST, yes. <laughs> and I would be very, very happy if some of you would join me there because I'm building a lot there and I'm having a lot of fun with that. And yeah. So if you like it, you can download the build from the gallery and my tray files are also on my Patreon. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.